So I like to continue with the nociceptive reflex, uh, but uh, the synonyms again previously the proprio receptive reflex was mentioned now nociceptive. So in this case the receptor is the proprioceptor as muscle spindle or the Golgi tendon organ, I didn't mention this. And in this case, the nociceptive, in, the, in case of nociceptive reflex, the receptors are nociceptors for pain sensation, let's say. Other name, monosynaptic. Here we have only one synapse between the components of the reflex. This is polysynaptic. because at least one interneuron is inserted, but even more. Uh, other names, the anti-gravitation, <laughs> reflex against the uh, gravity for maintenance of the body posture. This is the withdrawal reflex. because we are able to remove the affected uh, limb from the site of the painful stimulus. And uh, we have here a stretch reflex, because the stimulus is the uh, stretch. This can be called also as flexor crossed extensor reflex, because uh, the flexors are activated to remove, to shorten the uh, given extremity. At the same time, you have to stabilize the body posture with the contralateral and extensors. So these are the synonyms for both. And now I'd like to focus on the nociceptive reflex. As I mentioned at the beginning, it is related to the uh, pain receptors mostly, nociceptors. Uh, if I make a Drain. And uh, now I like to be very uh, schematic. Uh, maybe five toes should be related to this uh, lower extremity. Uh, this is not my lower extremity otherwise, but it's okay. So the stimulus will be uh, in case of bare food. Uh, Painful uh, stimulus can be a needle in a sand when you are watching the girls on the beach, so something like this. And what happens immediately without thinking on it, uh, you will remove the given extremity from the painful uh, side, you will shorten the given extremity, activating the so called fu functional flexors. I like to highlight it, so not only uh, the anatomical. Uh, flexors, what we studied so far, the functional flexors, and uh, at the same time, I stabilize the contralateral lower limb to maintain the balance. So, this is what we have to put to, together. So, in this case, receptors are nociceptors, this is the first element of the uh, reflex. Then, from the side of the uh, uh, painful stimulus which is in, this, in the skin. In this case we have a part, uh, nerve fiber. This can be either type 3 for acute pain or cold sensation. Can be type 4 which is unmanated. This is with other classification. The C fiber uh, for chronic pain and warm sensation. And the central process enters the uh, CNS and terminates on interneurons, at least on one interneuron. And then the interneuron will run to the, the motor neurons of the functional flexors. So, what are the functional flex flexors on the lower limb? First of all, we have here the flexors of the hip. Mostly iliopsoas, we have tensor fasciolati, we have also uh, rectus femoris, these are the three more important flexors. We have 
flexors of the knee, these are hamstring muscles, and, and this is what I want to highlight, the functional flexors are in front of the leg, so these are the extensors otherwise of the leg, but because these are able to uh, flex the foot dorsally, uh, decreasing the angle, that's why these are functional flexors, this is what we have to activate simultaneously. So, for example, if this comes from here, we have, you know, target uh, to the uh, extensors of the uh, foot, which would be functional flexors that I mentioned to you, and these are again the fastest A alpha type, uh, the largest, the thickest uh, nerve fibers. Simultaneously, we have to activate the other uh, flexors, as I told you, and uh, it can be a few segments above. In this case, we use collaterals, and uh, uh, I don't mention this now. I don't want to add to my drawing, but these flexors are also activated from above, because these are from lumbar plexus, but this sent collateral to this area and uh, I'm just showing the contour of this motonio which goes down to the upper uh, functional flexors such as filioxus. So in this case we include more uh, synapses, that's why it's also called polysynaptic reflex. Withdrawal because we remove the uh, given extremity from the painful area, from the uh, site of the stimulus and flexor Closed extensor reflex. The flexor is uh, now understood uh, because we activated all the functional flexors. But we have to stabilize the contralateral extremity, the lower limb. That's why we have to include uh, this uh, crossing. And uh, we have some uh, interneurons which are able to cross to the other side to activate the extensors of the contralateral extremity. So these are again very thick with alpha type fibers and the target would be the extensors in this case. Here functional flexors are activated with these uh, bluish fibers, but contralaterally the extensors. So this way, uh, this uh, uh, synonym is also valid now. Uh, simultaneously otherwise, with uh, the incoming fibers, we are able to send uh, input uh, a few segments above or below in the so-called lissar zone, just behind the uh, gray matter, uh, to enter to the uh, gray matter, to terminate in the substantia gelatinosa, second and third rexid laminae. And from there we have a pathway, uh, the spinal thalamic tract, which then send input, uh, conscious input uh, to the cortex. We have otherwise other pain-related pathways, what uh, we studied later. Uh, uh, so this is now the topic of the nociceptive reflex. How can we use uh, uh, the nociceptive reflex in the clinical practice in neurology? Uh, these are called in the clinical practice as cutaneomuscular reflex because the start point is in the uh, skin and the response is related to several skeletal muscles. Uh, the two relatively famous cutaneomuscular reflex, reflexes would be the, the cremaster reflex when you touch the medial side of the thigh and uh, the response is, response is related to the cremaster muscle contraction related to the L2 segment of the lumbar plexus and we have also the abdominal reflex when you scratch the abdominal skin and the response is related to the contraction of the abdominal muscles these are related to the uh, lumbar plexus and intercostal nerves